you're the executive director of Williams of the Symbian Foundation. You're That's coming right. from the S60 world. Mm. Uh, could you could you uh, briefly talk to us about the, the foundation uh, status mm. as of today? Yeah, the status is actually really positive. We accomplished a key milestone a week ago in that we formed and held two days worth of kickoff meetings for our councils. The four councils that will make up what I'll call the underpinnings of uh, all the major decisions that the foundation will make concerning the software assets, concerning developer support, and, uh, and largely the future of, uh, of where we're going. Uh, participation was really good, so we have more than our board member or stakeholder companies. We have uh, the member companies also very well represented uh, around that table. So companies like MySpace and Adobe and, and many others, Telecom Italia and Orange and so forth, are a key part of uh, participation in these councils. And uh, so we had a lot of good dialogue, good discussion, high energy level, and uh, as a result, I'm, I'm very positive about where we're at in, in terms of status. Um, perhaps a couple of other details. The, um, we will have as a target 200 some employees in the foundation and we'll be up to about 70 uh, as of May. Um, so we're getting a lot of staff uh, on board that truly helps us with the, with the details. Okay, so uh, regarding the, the, in the next few months, what will be the, the foundation priorities? Mm -hmm. Several priorities. First, get a distribution out there um, that has a large portion of EPL code. Um, second, get a dis uh, distro out there that's relevant for people, right? Relevant for developers and uh, device manufacturers and operators and silicon partners and others. So um, we're on track to do a first distribution by week 19 and we need to keep just following that up and, and making a more complete distro for, uh, for those that are out there. Second key initiative for us is online presence. Launching our full website that will be some form of aggregate of uh, our participation in many social networking sites and communities globally. Um, and a part of that as well will include uh, software configuration management, so source control systems, bug tracking systems, forums, um, and what we call an idea agora that will also host there, where you can exchange ideas and even create your own social currency around ideas you have for the future of mobile. Those things will all be a part of our online presence. We're in beta now. We'll, we'll do that this year and, and get it launched publicly. I would say a, a, a third item is we're doing some um, uh, very focused things with our brand, taking the brand direct to a consumer. Um, to, to help them understand what the Symbian experience uh, is all about. And in this way, we benefit our member community greatly because that if a consumer knows what Symbian is and what a Symbian experience is, then it pulls product and it pulls the services in our ecosystem in that direction. Regarding the milestone, uh, do you have a, an estimated date on the launch of the, when the DOS will be ready, mm. ready to launch to send to a manufacturer? Yeah, so manufacturers are working with the code today, um, which, which is a very encouraging sign. You'll see first products this year based on the, on the distro as a result. Um, and then again, the, the distro target is uh, week 19 is a first milestone, uh, so by the end of May. And then secondarily, we'll follow up later in the year with an even more complete and competitive distro. So it'll make it even easier for manufacturers to build new devices. Uh, uh, w w what will be, uh, in your opinion, the impact of this uh, new Symbian uh, on the existing uh, OS market? Mm. I think we'll have a very solid chance of changing the OS market as we know it. Um, I think uh, today the, the OS market has proven it's valuable for mobile device creation. I think what, what our efforts will end up showing is it's not just valuable for present-day device creation, but it's valuable in terms of letting consumers take a greater level of control over what those mobile products are in the future. And in this way, I think it's about fewer walls, it's about less complexity, it's about just spending investments. If you're a company investing in this space, just spending your investments on the things that are most relevant to consumers, that they demand the most. So I, I think in this way, uh, uh, inevitable future for consumers in this product space 
things that were going to happen in five years anyway will now have a, a chance of happening in half the time as a result of what we're doing and if we're successful with some of our initiatives. Uh, the fact to have uh, Symbian uh, becoming open source was a, a big shock for the mobile industry. Mm. Uh, today, w w what do you think? Uh, Who do you think is your uh, number one um, um, competitor? Mm. Well, I think our, our competitor is probably not a software platform. Our competitor is somebody that delivers um, an experience in mobile that is. Uh, that is different than we provide or is unique in some way. Um, in this way, I think our competitor are probably uh, internet service type providers in, uh, in some of their activities. Um, and there are some compelling device manufacturers that if they were to open their platform in a similar manner could be viewed as competitors, but I've yet to see them do that. So if, if Apple goes open source tomorrow, um, I would put them in the category of competitor. As it as it stands, um, I, I'm not that uh, not that concerned relative to what we're trying to achieve. Uh, could you tell me uh, just to, to finish, except if you have a, any more question, uh, a few words about the the, the Symbian partners? Mm. Yeah, so the the Symbian members and, and partnership base. Yeah, very diverse group. Um, one of the things I'm I'm very happy about is that we ended up with a more diverse group and a larger number of members at this point in time than I thought we would have. Um, I had assumed we would be able to fly below the radar a little bit and focus only on our distro or focus on uh, you know, only a few, few key members. But what I can tell you about them is that we have a stronger presence from internet service providers, social networks, financial services companies than I anticipated. Um, and a stronger uh, demand, if you will, and level of influence coming in from network operators um, than, than I anticipated at this, at this point in time. Um, also, there's a couple of regions where the presence in our member base is significant, and we have a stronger presence and participation from North America and South America than I anticipated, and the same with China and the, and the greater Asian region, um, which is very powerful to see. Is that, that's okay for us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for Thank your you. time. Hopefully.